There are 20 amino acids that make up every protein in your body. They all have this carboxyl amino group, so we don't need to draw that every time. Instead, let's put the one letter name identifier in red. Leave the non-functional hydrogen atoms off. So arginine looks like this. Notice it's got a lot of nitrogen aminotype groups near the end, as does lysine. Histidine also has, and that makes them the positive charged groups. Aspartic acid and glutamic acid have oxygen near the ends, and that's what makes them negatively charged. The polar groups have hydroxyl groups near the end. Asparagine has an amino group. The special cases you're just going to have to memorize, but they're simple. Proline's a little bit weird. The carbons wrap back around into the backbone structure. The fat-soluble amino acids all basically have carbons, so there's an even distribution of electrons around the molecule, and they're what we call nonpolar, so they dissolve in fat. So I hope this helps you memorize the amino acids. This isn't exactly the system you learned in organic chemistry class, but it worked for me.